In this video, we're going to talk about data and the different types of data. As you can see, we have it on the board. There's two types, quantitative and qualitative. When you hear the word quantitative, what do you think of? I think of numbers such as 5, 8, 12. That's quantitative data. It's numerical data. And there's two types of numerical data. You have the form that is discrete and the form that is continuous. Now, discrete data, it's based on counting. For instance, let's say if there are eight cats, that's a discrete number. You cannot have 8.5 cats. That's not possible. You can't have 2.37 cats. And so when you're counting, let's say, animals or objects, it's based on whole numbers or zero as well. But you can't have any number in between. You can't have 7.46 cats. So counting is based on a discrete numerical data. Now, something that can be measured is based on a continuous form of numerical data, such as distance. The distance between point A to point B, it doesn't have to be an integer. It doesn't have to be 5 meters or 8 meters. It could be somewhere in between. It could be 5.56 meters. It could be 7.283 meters. And so it doesn't have to be a whole number or an integer. It can be any number in between. So that would be a type of continuous numerical data. So to review, remember this. Anything that can be counted would fall in the category of discrete data, which is also quantitative. And anything that can be measured is continuous data, which also falls under the category of quantitative data. So things like distance, speed, weights, these are numbers that can be measured, or these are properties that can be measured with numbers. Now let's move on into qualitative data. Qualitative data is basically descriptive data based on observations. And you use words to describe this data, not numbers. And that's a key difference between quantitative and qualitative data. Quantitative data use numbers. Qualitative data use words. Now, qualitative data usually involves the five senses. It could be visual, like what you see, such as color. It can be feel. Does something feel soft or hard? It could be taste, that food tasted good, or maybe that one tasted bad. It can be what you hear, is it, is the volume low, or is it high? That's descriptive data. What about the smell? Does it smell good or smell bad, or does it smell at all? So these are different forms of qualitative data. And as you can see, you use words to describe it. Now let's see if you remember what you've learned. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to quiz you. And I'm going to give you some situations. And I want you to determine, is it quantitative or is it qualitative? And if it is quantitative, would it fall under the category of being discrete numerical data or continuous numerical data? So let's say if we have seven dogs. Is that quantitative or qualitative? Well, in this case, we're dealing with a number, so that would be quantitative. Now, are we dealing with discrete data or continuous data? The number of dogs can't be 0.5. You can't have 7.5 dogs, so it has to be discrete. We're, we are counting the number of dogs. So let's say if the cat's fur is black. Is that quantitative or qualitative? Here we're dealing with color. There's no numbers here. 
And so this is dealing with the uh, visual senses. We're seeing the color and we are describing it using words. So this would fall under the category of qualitative data. Now let's say that Michael is six feet tall. So this six feet, his height, is it quantitative or qualitative? So we're dealing with numbers that is quantitative. Now, is it discrete or continuous? We are measuring his height. It doesn't have to be a whole number. He could be five feet and 11 inches tall. Or he could be 5.983 feet tall. It doesn't have to be exactly six. So because this involves measurement, it is a form of continuous numerical data. Now let's say the cat's fur is rough. So this is not quantitative. There's no numbers. This is basically how it feels. So we're using words to describe that. This is qualitative. So hopefully those examples gave you a, a better understanding of the difference between quantitative data and qualitative data.